Understanding Multiple Sclerosis, a guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that is a bit different from our usual content. We're going to talk about multiple sclerosis, commonly referred to as MS. It's important to understand these medical terms, not only to expand our English vocabulary but also to gain insight into conditions that affect millions worldwide. So, let's get started and uncover the meaning behind multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is a chronic illness that affects the nervous system, specifically the brain and spinal cord. It is considered an autoimmune disease, which means the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own tissues. In the case of MS, this attack is directed at the myelin sheath, a protective covering that surrounds nerve fibers. This results in communication problems between your brain and the rest of your body, Symptoms can vary widely and may include fatigue, difficulty walking, vision problems, and muscle weakness. Multiple sclerosis can present a wide range of symptoms, which may differ greatly from one person to another. Some of the most common symptoms include fatigue. This is one of the most common symptoms, affecting about 80% of people with MS. Numbness and tingling, often the first sign of MS, experienced in the face, arms, legs, or fingers. Muscle weakness and spasticity, leads to difficulty with movement and coordination. Vision problems, including blurred vision, double vision, or loss of vision. Balance and coordination issues, resulting in difficulties walking and performing daily tasks. Understanding these symptoms is crucial, not only for those studying English but for anyone looking to better understand the human condition. The exact cause of multiple sclerosis is unknown, but scientists believe it involves a combination of genetic predisposition and environmental factors. Some of the risk factors include age. MS is most commonly diagnosed in people aged 20 to 50. Gender. Women are two to three times more likely to develop MS than men. Family history. Having a family member with MS increases your risk. Certain infections. Some viruses have been linked to MS. Climate. MS is more common in countries farther from the equator. While there is no cure for multiple sclerosis, there are treatments available that can help manage symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. These include disease-modifying therapies, DMTs, designed to reduce the frequency and severity of MS flare-ups. Symptom management, medications and therapies to help manage specific symptoms like fatigue, muscle spasticity, and pain. Rehabilitation, physical and occupational therapy to help maintain mobility and function. Thank you for joining us as we explored the topic of multiple sclerosis. We hope this video has not only helped expand your English vocabulary but also provided you with valuable insights into this complex condition. Remember, learning about medical conditions like MS is not just about language. It's about understanding and empathy. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more educational content. Take care, and see you in the next video.